lovelies welcome back to my channel my name is Tia aka teacup simmer and this is a new series in niche you guys it is currently niche update 1.1.7 and the latest niche update has led us finally finally be able to make changes to our sandbox mode so i'll leave a link below to all of the updates and changes that have happened in this latest update of niche but of course this is a buggy update so if you guys do want to become part of the tester branch for this i will leave links in the description box below so if we do see any bugs we'll be able to let them know but because of the sandbox update we're able to extend the lives of our nichelings change what resources they start off with and change the character characters we start off with and their traits and the type of world we start off with. So there are lots of different things we now have access to you guys. And because we have all this access and all these things that we can change, I finally decided to finally do a mainstream warrior cats challenge on our channel. I know I've done live streams of it before where we kind of all kind of hung out, but I really wanted to do a main channel series because we were able to finally get this update where we could actually make some of those nice changes that we really wanted to actually kind of tweak the niche game a bit so that we're able to kind of have more of a warrior cats experience so i'm super excited to start playing this challenge with you guys the links all in the description box are going to be about our rules and how we're going to play this and i'm, I'm going to explain a little bit of things as we go along but i'm not going to do like a full-on um rule dump right away so i'm definitely going to give you guys the backstory that we're working with so right now we have our five cats and we're calling them cats currently. I may switch back and forth between nichelings and cats, but currently we have our five cats. Our main leader will be Fawnstar, um, who is actually an extremely young leader. She is actually 15 moons old, I'm going to say, which is pretty much days are going to be moons for us. And so the backstory for this tiny makeshift clan is that all of these younglings used to belong to a clan on a different island, but unfortunately there was a gigantic fire that kind of took out all of the clan and all of the other clans that were in the area, and so these five cats or nichelings is going to be difficult um all decided to kind of run away into the waters and dash off to a new island fawnstar is the oldest of the group she's kind of the one who put them all together kind of grabbed her siblings and her friends and all of the closest younger ones that she could find all of these cats are actually pretty much just out of their apprenticeship or in the case of swallowpaw just started her um her apprenticeship so she pretty much needs to be a war she isn't going to be a warrior for another let's say five yeah five days they don't become they don't become warriors until no no it's not five days it's four days yeah i was right so they don't become warriors until 12 days until 12 moons old so Currently, Fawnstar pretty much just took everyone that she knew and brought them along with her. And of course, that means that they are the only cats on this island and they are probably going to try and eke out of a little bit of existence. Since they're young, they're going to be pushing around on the rules a bit. They're not going to be following it exactly like their clan did previously because of course they're younglings and they didn't really have a good understanding of moon pools and the warrior code as much as they would like to but Fawnstar was actually maybe three days, three moons into her um, warrior name before she ended up, before the fire took out the entire clan. So she ended up bringing her best friend, Nightstorm, who has also just became a warrior. He pretty much just got his warrior name as the fire was happening. Same with the other warrior they brought with them, which is Cedar Claw, who has um, a little bit of an aggressive streak, but he he has a lot of strength to him, so Fawnstar thought he would be useful. Poppy Mist is actually Nightstorm's sister, and she was an apprentice to the Medicine Cat, but the Medicine Cat did pass away in the fire, so she has become the resident Medicine Cat for this group of cats and then of course swallow paw who is also who is actually fawn star's sister um and swallow paw just started her apprenticeship and of course that means she's going to be following around one of the warriors probably going to be following fawn star just because we she's going to be already attached to her sister i don't think she's going to want a different mentor 
but this is just our little ragtag group fire um sorry i didn't mean fire star nightstorm is a little bit of um he's a little reckless um and fawn star is very level-headed poppy mist is very quiet and cedar claw can be aggressive he's he's not um he's not reckless like nightstorm is like he doesn't do things without thinking about it but he he's very territorial and very he gets offended very easily um swallowpaw hasn't kind of grown into her um her personality so far you guys can let me know what you think of her but this is our little group you guys and we're just probably just going to take some time to see what we can find in the grasses see what fawn star thinks of their new territory see if they can kind of set up probably around here since this looks like the most fertile area and hopefully they'll be able to kind of figure out what they're going to do because of course there's only a few of them they're not too um, they're not too old, so they definitely have a little bit of skill, but they're not that experienced. They don't really know what they're doing. So of course, Fawnstar used a little bit of her, um, a little bit of her purring power to kind of make sure everyone was okay since they got to the island, island all right. But now everyone's gonna try and slowly creep in to the reeds and kind of be interested to see what's going to happen. Swallowpaw, I think, is going to be just be very energetic and kind of run off in front of her sister. Nightstorm, I think, will be more attracted to these berries over here. That's very interesting that they have, that we have some poison berries over here. I don't know if he would be um, reckless enough to try them. Poppy Mist, I think, would recognize that they're probably going to start needing some food, so she's probably eyeing that clam. Very interesting, interested, because they may or may not have had some on the island that they grew up on. Cedar Claw doesn't actually feel as close to all of the other cats. He has, if we check out all of their genes, you guys, since because of the new update, we're able to actually mess with their genes. Cedar Claw was actually the son of a rogue, so his, um, his mother was actually one of the clan cats but his father was a rogue which is why he has some different genes in here which is why he has barina claws he has short-sighted eyes some big body in here fishing tail he has a little bit um so he has a little bit of different genes than everyone else does and so it makes him look different and it's not necessarily saying that everyone here doesn't like him i think he just feels a little bit um what's the best word for it a little bit like an outsider not necessarily that he should feel like he's probably extremely unwarranted because of course Fawnstar doesn't feel like anyone should feel out of place now since they are they're all they have this is their tiny clan that they're pretty much going to have to start from scratch and of course she wants to make sure her sister grows up in a safe place and to make sure that her friends and his, her friend's sister are all safe so let's hopefully we'll make sure that these guys find a nice place to start but of course nightstorm is gonna possibly ruin it by looking at let's start maybe testing out those berries but thankfully we have enough food they were able to collect enough or pull enough from the prey pile to be able to kind of survive for a good bit um so they don't have to t worry too much about food in the immediate but they do want to get settled fairly quickly because of course that means that they're going to want to start having some kits soon fawn is definitely going to have to recognize that that's going to be one of her duties or one of the things that she's going to want that to start gaining more warriors in the clan if she's not going to start incorporating some of the cats that they cats are creatures that they find on this on this island so we're going to skip the day and see what these guys find in the next couple days or so oh yeah I love this. I like, I love the purring, the like the purring healing. Technically, um, Poppy Mist is the one who should, who should be the one doing that. And it was more of an accident than anything else, but I'm going to say Fawnstar did that as like a, like a motherly gesture to be like, okay, is everyone okay? Is everyone going to be, everyone's going to be fine. We made it safely. So she's just trying to make sure that they all stay safe. So she's probably going to jump in front of her sister. Ooh, and she's going to take this high place. I think she's going to like this. To try and start clearing places out she's probably going to tell nightstorm to start exploring in this direction since he is her deputy if you guys can't tell by the colors so yellows are going to mean all yellow gems means that they're a leader one yellow gem means that they are deputy and let's see all orange gems like cedar claw means he's a full warrior 
two orange gems means Swallowpaw is an apprentice. And of course that means apprentices need to stay close to their mentor. And that means she can't be any more than one tile away from her mentor at all times. Um, Poppy Mist, I think, is going to find this nest pretty interesting, and she's probably going to examine the berries and tell everyone to leave them alone. Um, Cedar Claw isn't really going to know what to do with those, but he's going to start exploring in this area, so they're going to start kind of branching out, clearing out space. I think Fawnstar is going to like this little setup over here so she can see where everyone's going and probably turn cats back if they need to kind of stick closer to the internal territory, because even though... They all have a good amount of strength on them. I'm pretty sure, yeah, he has four strength. Solopaw has four strength. Nightstorm has four strength. They're all pretty strong, except for Poppy Mist, but she is like one strength, which is um, a little bit unfortunate if she gets into a bind, but we're going to hopefully say that um, Poppy Mist is going to be okay. She's probably gonna stick close to her brother though, so she doesn't actually get into any trouble. So let's skip the day and see if Fawnstar can see anything. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Lots of things. <laughs> I just saw lots of things. Okay, so this is one of the new termite mounds, I bet. So that's probably gonna be something Cedar Claw looks at. And then tomorrow, can they hear anything else? I guess you can hear the termite mounds. That is so interesting. You can see the little bugs. Oh, that's so great. I kind of like that. None of them have any insect collecting, but I did unlock, let me see. I think it's here. Yeah, I did unlock all of the traits and this is going, this is actually just for a heads up. This wasn't supposed to be like cheating in any way, but because the goal of this challenge isn't necessarily to gain genes, it's more of to explore and play around with the warrior cat side of niche. So what we're going to do if we ever feel like it is we can use some of these genes to kind of differentiate between um, between clans when we start expanding and having multiple clans in one on one island so some cats may end up having certain colors that will regularly add in or certain um certain genes that are more likely to show up in one area than not so if we end up in a savanna area that has tons of insect of insect mounds or termite mounds we might end up giving some of our some of our cats are more likely to have sticky tongue or more likely to have bat head or something along those lines just to show that that clan is more likely to use that food source not necessarily um be just because this isn't nece gaining genes isn't necessarily our goal here it's more of keeping keeping our cats alive and hopefully swallow paw has three more days before she is a full warrior and hopefully when she's a full warrior we'll be able to actually have her and cedar claw i think yeah they're they're well matched they'll be able to have some babies um technically nightstorm and fawnstar could have babies not sure if i want her to do that yet i feel like she's very focused on making sure everyone's safe i don't think she's too too worried about making goo goo eyes at nightstorm at the moment so let's skip the day and see if anything happens. Okay, so everything seems quiet. We're not smelling anything. I don't think Fawnstar sees any danger, so she's probably going to feel safe with letting the rest of the clan go out and explore. Um, Nightstorm just found a great berry source. I think Poppy Mist would try and clear out some more space so she'd be able to see where her brother's going. There's a bunny over there, but I don't think, ooh, Fawnstar, call to attract wild animals. Is that something she'd want to do? So let's try it. I don't see any new people. So let's just keep kind of clearing out grass so they don't get lost. Um, let's have Swallowpaw help out by clearing out that grass. Cedar Claw will probably hit this just to see what he can do about it, but it kind of breaks down, but he can't collect insects. 
yeah, he tried, but he can't do that. So he's probably just going to leave it alone and keep exploring. So there's a few cacti over here. There's lots of poison berry bushes. Um, this reminds me of our Marsh Clan in one of our live streams that we had. Marsh Clan lives exclusively in the swamps, and they had a lot of poison berry bushes that they were trying to make sure that all of their, a lot of their nichelings had um, either poison fang or toxic body so that they could pick up some of those poison berries. But since none of these cats are, and I think Poppy Mist would have done a thorough investigation of this to make sure that no one goes near these, because of course none of the cats actually have the ability to pick them safely. So I think this is going to be our last day in the, in the clan. We're just going to skip the day and see if we can start collecting some more food. Nightstorm's probably gonna start picking off that and I think Cedar Claw is probably going to explore more around this area. So let's skip the day one last time. So all of the healing is still doing well. That's good. So let's see if we can smell it. So Night Storm, see if you can get that bunny. No, I don't think he'll be able to get it. So he's just going to pick up all of those berries. We'll have Poppy Mist start making, start clearing away a path for him. Swallow Paw will take it upon herself to clear out more of that area. And I think Fawnstar will do a few more calls, almost to mark their territory a little bit, to say, hey, this is our new clan. We're here. Everyone should leave us alone. This is an area that you should come near. If you're a net, if you're possibly like a predator or something. Um, so let's have Cedar Claw. He's very he's very solitary, as you can tell. Poppy Mist and her brother are very close, whereas and so are Fawn and so is Fawn Star and Swallowpaw. But since he doesn't really have any family here, he's kind of left alone. He's strong enough, so I think he feel he would feel fine about exploring out into the wilderness by himself. But of course, Poppy Mist is keeping a close eye on her brother. And Fawnstar is spending her time teaching her younger sister, Swallowpaw, about the ways of warriors. And of course, in the next episode, she is going to be aging up into her 12th moon which of course means she is going to become a warrior and then she's getting her warrior name so you guys can leave down in the comments what you guys think Swallowpaw's warrior name should be this is going to be super fun and of course let me know what you guys think the clan's name should be Fawnstar of course got her name because of her coloring so did Poppy Mist Nightstorm got his name because of his coloring and so did Cedar Claw and because of his um a little bit of aggressive nature and Nightstorm got his his name because of um, his recklessness and his ability to just run into run into things just without thinking. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I'm super excited to see where this clan goes. Right now we're looking at right now only five members. It's going to take a little bit of time to start growing the clan and I think Fawnstar is super protective of everyone so they're going to grow a little slowly. So if the story goes slowly you guys can let me know or what you guys think or what you guys think the story should go you should guys put those down in the comments below let me know what your favorite of the five is who your favorite cat is so far i'm super excited to see what happens all right you guys thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and please subscribe if you really love me and i will see you guys next time bye